In 2009, an international ban was slapped on the sale of diamonds from Zimbabwe. Uh, the move stemmed from allegations that some uh, mines were being controlled by the military and that funds were being uh, divided to the ZANU-PF party of President Robert Mugabe. Last year, that decision was reversed and diamond watchdog body, the Kimberley process, gave Zimbabwe the OK to resume selling its diamonds on the global market. Farai Magugu, director of the Center for Natural Resources Governance in eastern Zimbabwe, it says some problems have gotten better, but others have not. I think much has improved, not because the, the army or the companies have changed their way of doing things, but it's because fewer people are going to the diamond fields now. And those who still dare to go there, they still are subjected to all forms of human rights violations. But they are few. That's why you don't hear many reports coming out of human rights violations taking place. Then the issue of revenue transparency, nothing has changed. Uh, I think the conditions are getting even worse and worse in that um, we have the Minister of Finance on record saying he's not getting much of the diamond revenues in the Treasury, which means individuals and other um, groups of people are benefiting from the diamonds at the expense of the nation. Uh, Magugu says that any military involvement in the commercial activities of diamond mining is, quote, a recipe for political instability.